everyone, welcome to a new yoga flow with me, Sarah. It has been quite a while since I brought you a new video, so I thought I'd just put out some more support into the world and let you join me in this 30 minute flow. And we're gonna be targeting the chest, the shoulders, the heart, and also the glutes a little bit. So if you've been sort of slumped working at home on your desk or on the sofa, or you just need like a nice lift, and this hopefully will be really nice and supportive for you. So come and join me. It might be nice to have a brick, but not vital at all. We're gonna start kneeling. If this feel like, feels like it doesn't serve you particularly, then come to sit cross-legged. Otherwise, come and join me kneeling. And just let any fidgets go that need to be sort of moved through before you can arrive into some stillness in your body, closing your eyes and just letting your shoulders drop down. And then bringing your left hand onto your heart space right hand to your belly and feeling this sort of soft wash come through the body and starting with your forehead unfurrowing the brow softening behind your eyes unclenching your jaw and then letting this just soak down into neck shoulders chest back belly into your hips and pelvis dropping any effort through the glutes and then all the way into your legs and just feeling the support of the earth underneath your shins and tops of feet. And letting yourself just land here, welcoming yourself into the space. Well done for even showing up so far. And allowing just a little check-in to come into the body. And without any judgment, just sort of noticing where we are. Every day will be different. So feeling into physical form are there any aches in the body or any areas of tightness or maybe areas that feel quite open and here for you? And then just moving into the mental body. What is the brain up to? Are your thoughts quite busy and full? Or maybe there's a sort of dullness, or heaviness to it. And then what is sometimes so much harder to move into is this acknowledgement of our emotional self, emotional body. So just let that land. And our brain will try and make sense of what we're feeling. But whatever it is that you're showing up with today is so valid, so very valid. So just feel it. Smooth into your breath. And then just let it get a little bigger, a little bit more intentional. Moving your breath into both hands. And just really feeling your breath as if you can move it past your physical form and into your space. Just breathing in and out through your nose, unless you have a cold. And then together we'll take a really full breath in through the nose, feel it. Then a big open mouth sigh out through the mouth, let it go. <sighs> arriving bring your hands together at heart center in prayer and just commit to this short time together commit to moving from heart space loving and kindness always and then just open your eyes come back into your space acknowledge it yeah if the legs feel like they're doing too much here you can mind a little tuck of the toes or just release them for a moment and then come back down and then we're going to reach our arms up and overhead find an interlace of your fingers bring your index fingers to touch Kali Mudra, we reach fingertips all the way up towards the ceiling and then just get a little lifted away from the ground. So squeeze your glutes a little bit, find a draw up of inner thighs, draw in through your belly and lift pelvic floor and then reach a little taller. Now from this space, it might be nice to reclose your eyes. Just take circles through the fingertips or <laughs> circle your fingertips above your head or you can circle your actual fingertips, but it won't be as effective. And let this circling Trickle down into maybe shoulders a bit more, into waist, into hips, just feeling into the fluidity of your own body and where there's space, maybe where there's tightness, what you need to breathe more space into. And then take this in the opposite direction, drawing everything round. There's no right or wrong. And then start to just release the clasp of your fingertips, come back up through centre. Legs draw up, release. Elbows come wide, just lift up through your heart as your elbows are in towards your side body. 
As you inhale, breathe, lift fingertips back and up and overhead. As you exhale again, elbows come down, lift your heart space, drawing through the belly. One more time, inhale, reach up. And then as you exhale, elbows draw wide, snuggle your shoulder blades behind your back and interlace your fingers. Interlace your fingers. A little drawing in of shoulder blades, scapula pulls together. Reach back through your fists, squeeze your inner thighs, squeeze your glutes, lift your heart, take a full breath in. And then as you exhale, start to release this. We bring our hands down in front. Oh, that feels a lot for the feet. So maybe you tuck your toes a little bit and just take a little rock forward and back here in this, ta in this tabletop. If your toes were tucked all the way through that, well done. You might want to take a little tap up through the tops of the feet here. And then just feel into this, feel the ground underneath you, the support. Maybe you find a few cat cows here as the belly drops and inhale at the heart. Exhale, rounding through, let the breath guide. Any other movement that feels necessary or just feels like you want to move into it, a little wiggle around, then definitely do. And then hands spread really wide. Press into your index finger and thumb as you start to tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back, come to a downward facing dog. Start to pedal into the feet, one bend through the knee at a time. Just feeling this melting in, chest is heavy, head is heavy rather. <laughs> you might take a little shake out through the head, a little release, yes and no. Just letting everything melt in, no way or wrong. And then as you inhale, find a ripple forward and just come into a high plank, move through the spine. As you exhale, lower to knees, untuck your toes, elbows squeeze in, we lower all the way down, thighs, belly and chest. As you inhale, draw chin to chest, lift your legs, squeeze your glutes and then arms reach up. Just find this lift away from the ground, full breath in. Exhale to release, hands come down, tuck toes, rise up through tabletop and then lift your hips up and back. Adam Mukhashvanasana, downward facing dog. Again, you might find a little pedal here or any juicy movements to so just feel into it. And then bend your knees heavily, look in between your hands. Take a slow walk, come all the way to the top of your mat. Feet arrive hip width distance apart. Press down through the feet, bend through the knees, fold over the body. You're in this Uttanasana forward fold, chin to chest. You might let your hands stay on the ground as you find a little sway here. All hands come to opposite elbows. Definitely drop any effort that's crept in through the face. And then release your hands back down to the ground. Press down through your feet, bend your knees. As you roll up the spine, head will be the last thing that comes up. Shoulders come up to ears and then just drop them back down. Press down through the feet, take your arms out wide. As you inhale, reach your arms all the way up and overhead. We're gonna hook our thumbs here. I might be out frame. Hook your thumbs and spread your palms really wide and then just reach them up and over. Now find a squeeze of your glutes, slight tuck of your tailbone. Can you press the front of your hips forward as you reach your heart, your chest towards the ceiling a little more? One more breath in. And then as you exhale, release this. Come to interlace your hands behind your back. Snuggle shoulder blades in, reach back through the fists, press down through your feet, inhale, lift your heart. As you exhale, soften your knees, let your belly fold onto your thighs as you come all the way down, forward fold. You might take a little sway here from shoulders, from wrists, or a bending through one knee and then the other, head is heavy. Come back through centre, as you inhale, ripple halfway, reach back through your fists, lengthen your chest. And as you exhale, fold, release the hands all the way to the earth. Step yourself back and come into a high plank. And just pause here, just commit to this strength, this energy for a moment in the body, pressing the ground away, chin to chest, squeeze your glutes, take a breath in. Exhale, lower to knees, untuck your toes, we lower all the way down, thighs, belly, chest. This time come to cobra, hands are underneath your shoulders, roll your shoulders, lift your chest, squeeze your glutes, inhale. Exhale to pull the body back down. Tuck your toes, rise up through a tabletop or straight up downward facing dog. I moved before I spoke. Settle into your down dog. As you inhale, right leg lifts, find a three-legged dog. Bend your right knee as you flex your right foot, stack and open your hips. And it's quite tempting to just pour your head and heart underneath your right armpit. But can you press the ground away evenly through both hands and turn your chest towards the floor? As you inhale, rise high up onto the wall of your left foot, lift your left heel. As you exhale, just melt it back down. 
Extend your right leg as you inhale. And on the exhale, round through your spine, step your right foot in between your hands. Inhale, we sweep our arms up and overhead. Find a high lunge here. Exhale, soften your left knee. Find a slight tuck of your tailbone. And then straighten both legs. Inhale, reach up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, start to drop your left knee to just kiss the ground slowly. Inhale, we re-rise. Press the ground away, straighten both legs. Exhale, soften left knee. Just let it kiss with control. One more. Inhale to rise. Stay with your breath. Exhale, soften, kiss. Oh yeah. Inhale, we rise back up. Bend your elbows, lift through the chest, draw elbows down towards your hips. Inhale, reach back up again, find that space. Twice more, elbows drawing. Squeeze your glutes, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, elbows draw down. This time, interlace your hands behind your back. Snuggle your shoulder blades in, reach back through your fists. Squeeze your left glute a lot, breathe in, lift your heart, full breath in. Exhale, drop your left heel. Open to a warrior two, but keep this interlaced with the hands. So your right knee is over your right ankle. Reach down through your fists as you find an active press through the feet. Inhale, lift up through the front line of your body. And as you exhale, start to come into a humble warrior. So chest turns towards the top left corner of your mat. As your head and chest releases, fists reach towards the ceiling. Keep this activity through the legs. Drop chin to chest. And just let the breath be here, supporting you, this beautiful tool that we have. One more inhale. One more exhale. Inhale to press down through the feet, rise yourself back up, warrior two. Release the interlace of the hands. Arms come along, just flatter them, soften shoulders. Yeah. Flip your front palm and reach forward. Keep the legs where they are. As you exhale, come to a, a reverse warrior rather. Left fingertips glide down the left leg. Right arm reaches up and over, bending into right knee. Rather than this being a heart opener here, can you just leave this as a side lengthening? So weight is really pouring over the left leg, breathing into the right side body. One more breath in. As you exhale, rise back up, come to warrior two. And then keep going with this. Let your left hand come down next to your right foot. As we come into an easy twist, reach your right arm towards the seat. Now squeeze your inner thighs in and feel like your outer hips, sorry, yeah, inner thighs in, feel like your outer hips could press in towards one another. From this space, we're going to start to come into Vashi Stasana side plank. Feel free to modify this. Either right foot stays in front or your left knee comes down. Otherwise, we step right foot on top of left. Squeeze the inner thighs, lift the hips, take a breath in. Full breath out. And then from this space, option to stay or we come to wild thing, lifting your right leg, landing your right foot behind the body on the ball of the right foot, lowering the hips. And then as you inhale, lift away from the ground. Really own this, I like get big. Full breath in. As we exhale, right hand comes back to the earth. We come to high plank and take a vinyasa, either knees down or this time chaturanga, shoulders move forward past the wrists. Exhale, lowering halfway, and as we inhale, rise, squeeze the glutes, up dog or cobra. Exhale, we're in our downward facing dog. Letting everything just re-land, re-arriving into the breath. Full inhale together. Full exhale. Active press away off the ground. As you inhale, left leg rises, three-legged dog. Bending left knee, flex the left foot, stack and open the hips. Again, it's tempting to just let everything flop here, but can you turn the chest towards the ground? As you inhale, rise high up onto the wall of your right foot, right heel lifts. Exhale, just melt it back down again. Inhale, straightening your left leg, round through the spine. As you exhale, step left foot in between the hands. We reach the arms up and overhead, coming to a high lunge. Exhale, soften your right knee a little bit, tuck your tailbone. Breathe in, reach up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, we kiss the ground with our right knee, really gently. Inhale to re-rise, lift arms, straighten both legs. Twice more, stay with your breath, focus on one point. Exhale, we lower. Inhale to rise, straighten both legs. One more time, exhale to lower, kiss the ground. 
Inhale to rise, nice. Heel the bend in the left knee, we reach up through fingertips, squeeze your right glute. Exhale, elbows draw down. Inhale, find this reach up. Exhale, elbows draw in. Shoulder blades are pulling down. One more time, inhale, reach. Exhale, draw it in. Interlace your hands behind your back, but this time take the awkward, non-habitual interlace with your hands. Reach back through your fists, breathe in, squeeze your right glute. And as you exhale, ground down through the sole of your right foot. We're in this warrior two, Virabhadrasana two on the left leg. Palms and fists reach down. As you inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, becomes a humble warrior. Chest moves towards the top right corner of your mat. Head comes down as you press actively into the feet as your arms reach up and overhead. Drop chin to chest. The more work your feet do here, the more softening you can find in the upper body. Take one more inhale. One more exhale. And then a big press through the feet. Rise the body. Inhale, come up. Release the arms. Warrior two. Flutter through them. Oh. Flip your front palm. Inhale, reach forward. On your exhale, come to this reverse warrior. Right arm glides down the right leg. Left arm is up and over. Soften your head a little bit. Soften your jaw. Keep the bend in the left knee. One more breath in. One more breath out. Inhale to rise the body. And then exhale, right hand comes all the way down. Pivot on the ball of your right foot. We find this easy twist. Left arm lifts towards the ceiling. And allow the inner thighs to draw in. Flex the right foot. Again, offering to come to a modified side plank here. Or simply rolling onto the outer edge of right foot. Stacking left on right. I say simply, it's definitely not simple, is it? Lift your hips. <laughs> Any wobbles, embrace them. One more breath in. And then an offering, wild thing. Step your left foot behind you on the ball of the left foot, outer edge of the right foot, lower your hips, and then find that lift. Inhale to reach, squeeze your glutes, left arm lifts up and over. One more breath in. Exhale, all together we'll meet tie plank, either finding your flow, or if you'd like to take it straight back, please be my guest. If you're flowing, move with breath. Inhale, lifts heart, cobra or up dog, squeezing glutes. Exhale, hips travel up and back, downward facing dog. Lower down to your knees, take them as wide as your mats. Untuck your toes and then just sit back into a child's pose, balasana. Belly, chest, head comes to earth. And just find a little swaying here in the body. Just letting everything drop for a few moments. Maybe your forehead just finds a little rock as you release effort through the face. And then refine some stillness through the top part, the, the main part of your body. Start to come onto the fingertips, your fingertips, and then walk, your, walk them all away a little more. My words are definitely escaping me as I'm down here. Can you feel this draw back of bum to heels? And then plant your forearms and elbows back down to the ground. Now head is staying down. I'm just lifting mine so you can hear me. Hands are going to come into prayer as you lift your hands up and overhead. Now this might be enough or you walk your elbows a little bit further away. Maybe staying here or fingertips stay touching as you reach the heels of your hands apart, palms of your hands apart. You might even separate your fingertips here. Wow, it's intense. Take one more breath in. And then exhale, just release, hands to earth, drop the head. Inhale, we rise up, tabletop. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Bend your knees and look in between your hands. Take a step, jump or float. Meet your hands at the top of your mat. Inhale, we find a halfway lift. Exhale, fold into it. Big toes touch. Sit your bum back, bend your knees. We come to Ukatasana, chair pose. Arms reach and lengthen. And just find this sort of fluidity, buoyancy in the body. So rather than just like really rigid in here, can you feel a little element of softness? Can you drop a little bit lower? Maybe a little more. Drawing through the belly, tuck the tailbone. One more breath in. Full breath out. And as you inhale, rise all the way. Press down through the feet, hook, thumbs, lift chest. As you exhale, swan dive down, forward fold. 
Inhale brings you to the halfway lift, fingertips, whatever feel right. Exhale, fold into this. And then start to bring your weight to your right foot. We're just going to sweep the left foot all the way back and come into a half moon. So hips are nice and stacked and open. Left foot flexes. Now, if you do have a block nearby, it might be nice to place underneath your right hand as your left hand comes to your left hip. Maybe your right fingertips are just on the earth, so fine, wherever you'd like to be. Belly, ribs and heart space, start to turn towards the left and offering to bring your left hand towards the ceiling. You might even bend your left knee and catch the outer edge of your left foot as you feel into this trapasana bind. Now, if you're finding that bind, really kick back, own that space, take one more breath in. And then as we exhale, left hand comes back to earth, release any bind you've got. Take a big step back with your left foot as you lower your left knee. Keep your toes tucked. Inhale, reach your arms up and overhead. Anjali Asana. As you exhale, walk your right toes a little bit further forward and then drop your pelvis. Just get a little heavier. Squeeze your glutes really actively. And then start to interlace your hands. Index fingers again come to a point. So we're in this Kali Mudra. Now the real thing going on here is going to be the squeeze of the glutes and that's going to give you any more lift. So squeeze them heavily, let your pelvis get a little bit heavier. As you inhale, lengthen up through your heart. As you exhale, you might just reach back a little more into this. Go where it feels right for you. Maybe the hands are separate, so fine. One more breath in. And then as you exhale, just release. Hands come to frame your right foot. Lift the left knee, step back, downward facing dog. If you would like a flow, feel free. Otherwise, we'll just be here, <laughs> pausing in our down dog, feeling into our body, acknowledging our energy wherever we're going. And then bend the knees, gaze to the top of the mat, take a step, jump or float, meet your hands at the top. Inhale is the halfway lift, ripple forward, squeeze the glutes. Exhale to fold. Again, we come into Ukatasana, chair pose, bending the knees, sitting the bum back. Inhale, lift up through the heart. Exhale, drop your seat a little bit lower, belly draws in. Are you still breathing? Hopefully. One more inhale here. This time as we exhale, fold straight over. Weight comes into the left foot this time. We sweep the right foot all the way back and come into our half moon pose. So flexing right foot. Left hand can come onto a block, so fine, or, or to the earth. Right hand to right hip. Now really imagine that you've got a wall just behind your right foot that you can press into. Both legs are super active, barely turns towards the right, right hand might start to lift. Maybe again, you bend your right knee, catch the foot. If you've got that bind, own it, kick it back. Take a full inhale. And then as we exhale, start to release this, hips towards the ground, big step back, right foot. Lower your right knee, keep the toes tucked, arms reach up and overhead, breathe in. As you exhale, you might walk your left toes a little bit further forward as your pelvis gets a little bit heavier. Arms reach up, interlace fingertips. Again, now take the awkward interlace. It's definitely going to feel weird when your hands are in this mudra, but feel into it. <laughs> it's very strange. Reach up through the fingertips. Pelvis is heavy. Squeeze your glutes as you inhale, lengthen your heart. And as you exhale, you might move a little bit further back, but don't push it. And it goes so far as you can breathe. One more inhale. Exhale, we release. Hands to earth. Now just step your left leg back and come to a child's pose. Knees wide or together, whatever feels nourishing for you. Soften belly, chest, head. You might take a little rock again side to side. One more inhale. One more exhale. As you inhale, start to bring yourself up to kneel. Close your knees together. And just bring one hand to your heart, one hand to belly. Eyes are closed, just to receive the flow in the body. We've got just a little bit more to go. So let this settle you. Coming down from all the big stuff. And then open your eyes. We're just going to swing our legs round in front. Swing your legs round. Bend your knees and come all the way down onto your backs. 
all the way down. This is the first time we've been on our backs in this practice. So just let the ground hold you here for a moment. Just absorb that. And then let your feet be hip width distance apart. Walk them so far to your bum, just so you can tickle them with the back of your, tickle your heels in the back of your hands. The hands. <laughs> Whoa, what are words? And feel a press down with your feet. Just lift your bum, tuck your tailbone, and then lower it back down. So you feel this flushing of lower back to earth. Arms are down by your side. We're going to start to come up into bridge pose. So press down through the feet, rolling up through the spine, bone by bone, just finding this lift, middle back, upper back lifts, squeeze the glutes. Now it's tempting to let your knees splay out here. Can you keep the inner thighs drawing in? And then you might find a snuggling of your shoulders underneath you, interlacing your hands as you reach them towards your feet. Tuck your tailbone, so rather than everything being sort of a lift in the chest, find this tuck of the tailbone. Can you lift your thighs to the ceiling a little more? And then just soften your neck, your face. Move into the breath, squeeze the glutes. One more inhale. And as you exhale, we release this. Unclasp your hands, release the shoulders. Melting. Spine back down and bum back down. Resist the urge to move just for a moment. And then just take your feet out wide. Take a little windscreen wiper through the knees, side to side. Your arms can cactus. Now we have an offering of a few things. So we're going to take one more heart opener. Either coming back where you were in that bridge pose, if that felt yummy and you want to experience that again, then definitely do. If you'd like something a little bit more restorative today, your brick is going to come into play if you have one. And you just lift your hips, allow your brick to come to your sacrum, the fused part of your spine, and then you lower into it. Any setting that feels right for you, adjust. Or if you'd like to come into wheel, we should be nice and warm and open to play with this. So glutes are switched on a little more, shoulders have got a little bit more space. So this is your time if you'd like to come here. Feet are going to be, again, hip with distance apart. They don't move out towards the edges. They stay as they were in bridge. They're going to plant into the ground as an active press down. So already you feel this sort of tucking of the tailbone and you could keep that bridge from this space. Hands are going to come, fingertips facing your shoulders, just next to your ears. Again, it's tempting to sort of take things out wide, but can you keep the elbows really narrow? And then press down through the feet, tuck tailbone, squeeze the glutes, press through the hands. And inhale, you might come up into your wheel. Adjusting yourself however you need. Only go into something that you can breathe into. And if the breath feels short, then maybe this isn't the posture for you today. And just let that go. Taking a few more breaths. Inhale. And exhale, releasing. One more. Inhale. And then as we exhale slowly, just letting everything come down, whatever variation you were in. Bridge, supported bridge, wheel. Bringing your feet to the earth, knees bending, take your arms out wide again. Resist the urge to move just for a moment. Feel the effects of that in the body. And then again, just windscreen your knees side to side. And then draw knees in towards you, hug your shins. Take a little rock side to side here. Now, before we close practice, we're just going to find one more posture, which is plow pose or snail. If this doesn't feel quite appropriate for you today, you can just come to a seated forward fold. That's going to be just as yummy. Otherwise, allow your shoulders, your neck to just have a little bit of space here. And then we're going to sort of bypass shoulder stand. I haven't given myself much room. Bypass shoulder stand. So legs come all the way up and overhead. And they come to maybe the ground behind you. Find a little shimmy back of your shoulders so you really let your neck have this space. And then your arms can be on your lower back, hands on lower back to the ground, maybe interlace. Find a softness in your knees here. And then just breathe quite big. And it can feel quite sort of effortful at first, but when you find this dropping into it, it feels quite magic. And if you are in that seated forward fold, then just let the same things occur. Your knees can be bent, they can be straight. One more breath in. 
And then as you exhale, finding this rolling down through the spine with control, letting the legs come out long. If you were seated for that, coming onto your backs. And just letting the ground hold us in our final resting posture in Shavasana. Nothing to hold on to now, so just actively let go of any effort. Take a full breath in through the nose. And a big sigh out through the mouth, let it go. <sighs> Softness washes over the body, eyes, jaw, glutes, back. And if you've got time to spare or time to really nurture this, then pause the video and just stay here resting. So needed. There is so much to receive right now, so just let that be felt in the body. All this recalibrating. If this is all you have time for today, that's so fine. Start to just re-wiggle fingertips and toes. You might reach your arms up and overhead and find a full body stretch. And then gathering knees and towards you. And however you'd like to rise today, you might rock to one side or just roll up the spine and we'll meet in a cross-legged seat. In Sukhasana, hands come together in prayer. Finding a softening of shoulders and a lift of heart to thumbs and just feeling that power that resides behind your thumbs. Take a full breath in together. Big sigh out, let it go. <sighs> Bowing your head to your hands, thanking yourself for this practice, for this time. Namaste. Thank you guys so very much for joining me. Have a really lovely day. I hope that felt nice and healing for heart space and just to get us moving and wiggling around a little bit. If you'd like to find me on Instagram, I'm at Sarah Malks and I have my Zoom classes weekly, so please do get in touch. Big love to you all. Bye.